Morning, hope you're doing really well. I'm actually still ill, which is so annoying. I've got such a sore throat and it's really lingering. So I was kind of soldiering on with my training plan before, trying to just keep ticking that off, but I've now decided that I'm just gonna forget about that. So I am gonna go for a chilled little ride around here. I'm over in a nice seaside town called Brixham and I'm gonna listen to some tunes, just relax and spin the legs because it's better than just not doing anything right. So on that note, I have been sent some new headphones thank you aftershocks um, they have sponsored this video so I am now going to tell you about their headphones they're really cool I had a pair of these before and I lost them and I was kind of gutted so they have kindly replaced them here they are they are bone conducting headphones so what they do is they actually play the music through your cheekbone it sounds nuts but it works so well because they've got an open ear design you can still hear all the traffic around so you can listen to your tunes and you can still make sure that you're aware of your surroundings and hear any traffic noise or you know emergency vehicles coming down um, also because they don't go in your ear they're hygienic they don't get sweaty and kind of dirty and stuff so that's definitely good got a secure fit i can vouch for these oh <laughs> i'm putting them one upside down classic They've got a secure fit, so you can wear them when you're running around or cycling or whatever. They don't get in the way of your helmet straps and everything, so liking that. They're also waterproof, so all in all, a lot to like about these. So I'm going to select my playlist. What am I going to listen to? I don't know. I'm going to think of a playlist. I'll tell you about that in a minute. I'm going to do a quick change and let's go for a ride. You know what I was going to do? I was going to do that. Click your fingers, spin around and you've changed your clothes. And then I realised... I don't really need to change my clothes just to go for a roll around on my bike. I am literally spinning my legs, keeping everything moving because it just makes me feel a bit better to get out there and, well, ride a bike. So I don't think I really need Lycra for that, do I? I've also got my mountain bike here because there's some really good trails that I did want to show you. There's an epic route that goes up past Berry Head and then it descends down to this amazing beach called Mansands that you can only get to on foot or on bike. And then there's a massive climb out, but it is so pretty. I'll do that another time though, because as I said, feeling ill. Can you, can you hear? Like, does my voice sound croaky? My nose is really blocked. So let's roll down to Brixham and listen to some tunes and maybe get a coffee or an ice cream. Actually, that's a good idea. Ice cream for the sore throat. What a good excuse. <laughs> so nice here there's someone swimming in the sea at the moment and unfortunately I can't go in because I've got this terrible terrible cold it's torturous coming here why did I come here when I can't swim and I love it so much but yeah this is the little beach at Brixham and it's dead pretty no sand just pebbles but um, if you swim around the corner there there's some really great rocks for jumping off into the sea make sure that the tide's in obviously and very often there are seals that swim up around here so this is one of my favorite spots to come and have a little swim get a coffee from the shop there and um yeah isn't it lovely So this is one of the other really, really lovely, lovely places to swim. There's one woman in there looking very happy actually. <laughs> I'm quite jealous. But of course I've got a cold and you can hear me sniffling away so I won't be swimming today. But this is the sea pool at Brixham and as the name suggests, 
they let the, the sea in and then close the door and it stays in here and you can swim. And it is just wonderful. Um, also up here, there's a restaurant called Shoals that does really, really nice food. And I went there recently and the sun was setting. We had a nice glass of wine and something to eat. It was really, really nice. Pretty, yeah, pretty cool around Brixham. But yeah, I'm gonna head over now and get that ice cream that I was talking about. So let's go. Is it? Oh dear, I've just been told off for cycling. I was like, oh dear, sorry. I didn't actually realise. I don't see any signs saying no cycling. But anyway, in order to not to annoy the locals, I'm gonna go around on the road. Cyclists, permanently in the rock. favorite ice creams. I really like Solcom ice cream. I think it's the best and it's local. So I'm going to grab one of them and then I'm going to tell you a bit more about what I've been up to and what my plans are for the next few months. So let me just ditch this bike for a sec. I'll probably get told off for leaning the bike up as well. Seems to be doing everything wrong today. Oh, a puppy. Oh, let's get an ice cream. Mmm. <laughs> Oh, I'm having a terrible day. <laughs> oh, let me get out of the way. Ah, thank you. Okay. <laughs> Trying to film and hold a bike and eat an ice cream. Ambitious, maybe. I don't want to drop it. The ice cream, that is. I'll drop the bike over the ice cream any day. Okay, I better hurry up and tell you what I was gonna tell you. Um, I was sat over there eating an ice cream and some very lovely people came and chatted to me, but unfortunately I was trying to film a vlog. So they now know all about the GoPro 9, its pros and cons, and my new Sony Alpha, but um, I'm in a bit of a hurry because I'm actually going sailing tonight. So next few months, I've got some fun things coming up and I need your help with some of them. The first thing I'm doing is going to Fuerteventura. Have you ever been cycling in Fuerteventura? Are there good places to hire bikes? What about gravel bikes? Could you hire gravel bikes there? I doubt it. But um, I just wanted to know if you've got any tips for riding in Fuerteventura. Ditto Madeira, which is the second place that I'm gonna to go to. Um, I'm not actually traveling there with a bike because I'm going with my dad. And it is actually a holiday, but of course, me being me, I can't miss up the opportunity to go and ride a bike somewhere I've never ridden one before. So the question is this, do I hire a road bike? or do I hire a mountain bike? And have you ever done either? And if you have, where should I go and where should I get a bike from? Okay, so that's those two trips. The third trip, I'm going to Mallorca. Yes! Because I so wanted to go there. Um, so I'm going to Mallorca at the beginning of November and I'm gonna be riding gravel. And then I'm gonna be going to the track championships. And what else am I doing? Well, I'm not sure, I think I've got a day spare. So what should I do with my spare day in Mallorca? I mean, obviously go cycling but I'm guessing a lot of you guys have been to Mallorca right so and when I say guys by the way can I clarify I use guys to mean people in general when I say guys I'm not meaning men so when I say you guys okay that's everyone so tell me where I should go and what I should ride on my uh, day off I say day off on the days that I'm working I'm riding my bike but the point is there'll be a schedule and an agenda for those on my day off I can do whatever hell I want so let me know what I should do in those three places as always let me know what kind of things you want to see in my videos I'm actually really 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 considering setting up channel memberships um, over the next few weeks it's something I've debated doing for the last couple of years, but I think maybe it's the right time to do it. Um, so let me know your thoughts on channel memberships, pro or con, you know, I won't take offense if you think it's a crap idea, let me know. But anyway, I better whiz back. I am kind of running out of time, as is my way. Um, and I need to get ready to go and race boats tonight. So yeah, I'll catch up with you later. Hope you guys are all doing well. Guys, meaning guys and girls. And um, I'll see you soon. All right, bye. <laughs>